Hi everyone, welcome to my channel North Tube. This the top 10 best strongest jutsu in Naruto Shippuden. The world of Naruto is full of powerful jutsu, but which ones are the strongest? In this video, we will take a look at the top 10 strongest jutsu in Naruto Shippuden. These techniques are all incredibly powerful, and they have been used by some of the strongest shinobi in the series. Every jutsu is powerful in its own way, but there are some that are far more powerful than the rest. Give likes, comments, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to be enthusiastic about creating content. Have a good time watching. Shinra Tensei. Starting at number 10 is Koto Amatsukami. Shusui Ucha barely appeared in the series, but he was considered to be incredibly powerful because of his Koto Amatsukami. This ocular jutsu allows the user to subtly mind control anyone in their field of vision, and the targets are given false experiences in order to make them think that they are doing things of their own free will. I'll say it again. I just want to talk. What if Sasuke were to attack? This jutsu is powerful enough to free a reanimated ninja from the Edo Tensai's control. Once it is activated, however, the user cannot use this jutsu for 10 years, but that time is drastically reduced if they possess some of the first Hokage cells. She has Mangekyo Sharingan. Koto Amatsukami. I programmed the Genjutsu to protect the hidden leaf into Shisui's eye, and then gave the crow to you, Naruto. Number 9. The summoning jutsu allows ninja to call powerful animals. The summoning jutsu allows someone to summon other beings to assist them in battle. In the past, shinobi have summoned giant toads, snakes, slugs, a monkey king, a mongoose with a sickle, ninja dogs, a giant hawk, and even tailed beasts. This jutsu requires just one hand sign, but in order to use it, the summoner needs to make a contract with a specific animal or species. This contract must be signed with blood, and in order to summon an animal, the summoner must apply some of their blood onto the hand they signed the contract with. <laughs> Number 8. Atomic Dismantling Jutsu As the third Tsukikage, Onoki was one of the best ninjas outside of the Leaf Village. He held the title for decades, and one of the reasons he was able to do so is because he was able to use Dust Release. This is an extremely rare nature transformation that allowed him to create three-dimensional shapes. The atomic dismantling Justu is Onoki's primary dust release attack. He would fire the shapes at incredible speeds, and when they expanded, Anything caught inside would be disintegrated on a molecular level. Number 7. Tungai Shinsei.
this jutsu uses the Rinnegan's Deva path to call down a meteor from the upper atmosphere. When Madara was resurrected during the Fourth Great Ninja War, he took on thousands of ninjas by himself, and he wiped most of them out with Tengai Shinsei. When Madara and his Susanu weave three specific hand signs, he can use the Rinnegan's Deva path to pull meteorites out of space. These meteorites crash into the earth, and the resulting impact and shockwave can level an entire area. Number 6. Kaibaku Tensai. A gravity-based technique that allows the user to create a massive sphere of rock and earth that can crush an opponent. The Deva path can repel attacks and call asteroids down from space, but it can also create a miniature moon with Kaibaku Tensai. What is that? He used this jutsu against me once before! This thing The jutsu starts off as a small black sphere, and when it is thrown into the sky, it begins to attract everything in the surrounding area. This technique is primarily used to trap powerful beings and tailed beasts, but its destructive power is what makes it truly terrifying. Shibaku Tensei! Number 5. Tailed Beast Ball Rasen Shuriken. The Tailed Beast Ball Rasen Shuriken is a combination of Naruto's Rasen Shuriken and the Chakra of the Nine Tails. It is a sphere of compressed chakra that is released at high speeds. When Naruto combines his Rasen Shuriken with the Chakra of the Nine Tails, he creates the Tailed Beast Ball Rasen Shuriken. Number 4. Shinra Tensai Jutsu. Shinra Tensai is considered the Rinnegan's pinnacle ability, as it allows the user to create a repulsive force that typically takes the form of an invisible sphere of force. Nagato mastered this ability, as he used it to repel ninja tools, melee attacks, and other ninjutsu. Shinra Tensei! When he assaulted the Hidden Leaf Village, he used a massive version of this technique to destroy the entire village, leaving behind nothing except a crater and rubble. During his fight with Naruto, he used Shinra Tensai to deflect multiple Rasen Shuriken, which are powerful enough to harm Kurama. Shinra Tensei! Number 3. Six Paths, Ultra Big Ball Rasen Shuriken. Six Paths, Ultra Big Ball Rasen Shuriken combines this variant with an enlarged Rasen Shuriken, by combining two Kurama Avatar clones into the original, creating an Ultra Big Ball Rasen Shuriken and a Tailed Beast Rasen Shuriken. Both are infused with a massive amount of Senjutsu. This technique is powerful enough to counter Indra's arrow and completely destroy the Valley of the End. Indra no ya. Number 2. Sage Art Jutsu. Number 2. 
俺とお前が戦っておっ黙祷の神聖戦友 Would release is a rare nature transformation associated with Hashirama of the Senju clan. It may not sound especially powerful, but it has produced some of the most powerful jutsu in Naruto. It can absorb chakra, and it can be used to control a tailed beast. Sage Art, would release. True several thousand hands sees Hashirama create a thousand armed wooden avatar large enough to dwarf Karama and a perfect Susanoo. This technique is so powerful that it requires Hashirama, with his unprecedented chakra reserves, to enter sage mode. This giant wooden statue proved far too much for Madara, who rode a Susanoo clad Kyubi. Number 1. Infinite Tsukuimi. The Infinite Tsukuimi can only be used by someone who possesses the Rinne Sharingan, and the user must reflect their eye off of the moon's surface. This jutsu can trap everyone on Earth within an eternal dream like Jinjutsu, and it leeches their chakra. Madara managed to cast it and immediately disabled nearly everyone in the world. Only Team 7 managed to avoid being caught in it, and that was due to Sasuke's Rinnegan. A jutsu that affects the entire world and that can only be negated by the rarest dojutsu in history is an unparalleled threat. These are just a few of the many powerful jutsu in Naruto Shippuden. There are many other techniques that could be considered for this list, and it is ultimately up to the individual fan to decide which jutsu they think is the strongest. Thanks for watching and don't forget to support this channel with like, comment and subscribe. See you.